Hello. So today I'm going to tell you about how I achieved my dream of becoming an astronaut. Obviously, this is outer space. We're on Mars and we are camping out on Mars and we found a way to oxygenate the air. Well, psych. I mean, about half it. So this is not on Mars. This is still on Earth. But I did achieve my dream of exploring other worlds as an astronaut. And that is just simply through travel. So ever since I can remember, like basically like I remember when people asked, oh, what did you want to be when you grow up? I would always say an astronaut. I plan on being an astronaut, going to outer space. I absolutely loved Buzz Lightyear as a kid. And I wanted to go meet aliens, explore these strange new worlds. And it's kind of a great realization that I had the other day that I was like, wow, I'm doing this. I'm actually an astronaut at this point. And I mean, this was one of the places like Wadi Rum in Jordan this is where this picture was taken. It looks like Mars. It's where they filmed The Martian and a ton of other, other movies Um, in Jordan. They also filmed Dune, if you know that movie. Just so many great space science fiction movies. And basically... I was able to go visit these places and see what they're actually like. And I realized, like, I was talking to people about India and how India is the most different, wild, crazy place I've been to. And I even told my friends while we we're there, I was sitting there. We were at this little corner store ordering some food. And all the guys, we were, like, obviously foreigners, those three of us sitting there. And then all the other guys around us were Indian. They were just talking, chatting it up. I was like, whoa, aliens exist. We're aliens. Because we looked so different from these people. I'm pretty mixed race. I fit in kind of most places I go. I can kind of get away with looking like a local or so that people like don't really go up to me, um, especially in places that other people, especially Caucasian people, won't fit in. So like South America, I'll look pretty native. Um Obviously, the U.S., Portugal, uh, Israel. People thought I was Israeli. Like, I find that I can fit in anywhere. But India was definitely one of those places where I'm like, whoa, I do not fit in here. You can even see just, like, in these pictures, this is outer space. And we're at a space camp. <laughs> like, it's crazy that it's set up like that. Even here, the sky is so different. And... One thing that really just I love about travel is just meeting all these weird, crazy people. This is also in Jordan. This is Petra, where they have all these crazy stone carved buildings that were made by ancient civilizations, like almost a Prometheus type vibe. Just even if you love like different things in sci fi, we met some amazing tour guides that would show us around the country. Um, Shoot, let me even think. Pull up pictures of India now. If my page loads ever. But basically, all these different worlds, they have different languages. You're basically speaking to aliens every time. Let me search India. You're just going to get some grasp on like all the different places I've traveled. Like India, the food is so different. You wouldn't imagine it's so spicy. They love their spice there. Actually, this is Thailand. I don't know why it's showing India. This is Thai food here. Um, we saw these different configurations. One thing I studied on my travels was Christianity. I'm actually Jewish, but I love religious studies. And we were just studying how Jesus, this figure who came from the Middle East, once brought farther east to India, can look so drastically different, different patterns and such, different clothing even. Show you some of the sites that we saw there, just in terms of how they do rituals. Oh, this is great. I, actually, if you want to see this vlog, I have the whole vlog from it. They do this ritual every single day. Twice a day, sundown, sunset. And uh, one of the reasons that we looked like aliens so much was this dude right here. He absolutely loved me. He was like, oh, Bob Marley. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. But still, um, he wanted all these photos of me. 
just because I look so different from him. Yeah, I don't know why it's showing cooking from 2020. And even out in Africa, there's all these different animals they can go see and visit. It was just an absolutely great time. India, obviously, I recommend it for everyone who wants something drastically different. Europe, if you're coming from the U.S., is kind of like a little offbeat. It's kind of the next closest planet. But India, I've just found from the U.S., was the furthest planet culturally and in terms of how it looks and feels that there's just no absolute comparison to it anywhere in the world. So, yeah. I've achieved my dream of becoming an astronaut. If you want to become an astronaut, here's how. Go out and travel. That simple, people. If you want more videos on traveling, how to get started, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you got some value on it. And, yeah, comment below. Where would you like to see pictures, travel stories from? I have so many stories. Just ask me. Give me a prompt and I'll tell you guys one. Um. If you also wanted to be an astronaut when you were a kid, you know, you can achieve that dream. Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions on how I do all this, how I travel, feel free to go to my Instagram at talent in color or check out my travel Instagram at escape your hometown. And all my links are at hoo.be slash Talon. If you want more videos on travel, I actually recorded this sick vlog in Varanasi, India. You can check out that video right over yonder. And I hope you have an epic day.